Over the skies of southwest Gaza, parachutes float down from a fleet of cargo planes. A joint effort by the U.S. military and the Jordanian Air Force to drop aid containing some 38,000 meals along the enclave's coastline. This is the aid they're dropping. It's better to send aid via ground deliveries than airdropping by parachutes. These airdrops are not enough for one family. This is nothing. Like many on the ground who deem it insufficient, critics of the operation say it's only a drop in the bucket for the massive needs in the enclave, with aid organizations slamming the move as inefficient and largely symbolic. The UN says more than half a million people in Gaza, a quarter of the territory's population, are just a step away from famine, with children already dying of starvation. People are so desperate for food, for fresh water, for any supplies, that they risk their lives in getting any food, any supplies to support their children, to support themselves. The move from Washington comes after more than 100 Palestinians were killed on Thursday as they scrambled for aid. Local authorities blame the idea for firing on crowds, while Israel insists many of the dead were trampled. The desperation of starving Gazans has only been growing since Israel barred the entry of food, water, medicine and other supplies into the territory, except for a trickle of aid entering through the southern border with Egypt.